Oh, um, my other car is going to be here shortly, so on Tuesday apparently. Coming up from Brizzy, so I've got all the engine ready to rock and roll. It's been sitting here a little while. Um, so anyway, I've got it all ready to rock and roll. It's all been put together. Everything's done. Aircon and all the mounts and all the brackets and the fan and I even put a clutch pan on. I see. Um, alternator and carby and everything's all done. There's a holy carby under there. I've got stock um, manifolds on there at the moment, but I'll, um, I've got these puppies to go on when I get the exhaust fitted. So anyway, getting along quite well. It's come up really nice, very clean. Looks spot on. Looks really, really nice. Paint's come up nice. Um, yeah, over the moon with the setup. So yeah. Everything quite good, brackets, all that, all quite straightforward. Um, everything come together nicely. Uh, I've still got the dizzy to go in, but I'll uh, prime the oil first before I go and do all that. But anyway, yeah, accessories come together real nice, really s simple. So I had everything rebuilt, so rebuilt, rebuilt. I still, that's the old alternator, but I've got a new one coming still, so that's two bolts. Uh, they sent me the six cylinder alternator and of course I didn't check until I went to put the thing on and by then it was like dull in Darwin what are you gonna do you wait so anyway so looking good it's done so transmissions done uh, staying with an FMX um, so yeah that's all been redone um, serviced and cleaned and bands are all done New seals, yada yada yada. So the tail shafts at the shop to get new unis on it. Um, so they'll, they'll be back mid next week. Um, so I got the spare diff ready to rock and roll. Um, so I've got the using the diff off the wagon. So that's actually got a very good 277 limited slip diff uh, XE. It's actually off an XE. So it's got the slightly bigger lot more spine set up so and the LSD is perfect on it it's it's a perfect good diff so um what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna because that's a leaf leaf rear I'm gonna get the cut the core stuff off cut just that's just light weld on these so I'm just gonna remove all this and take it to a, a uh, shop and get them to weld weld them on to save pulling and stripping diffs apart and all that there's nothing wrong with that other diff. It's got really good brakes. The brakes are all good. So it saves me a lot of stuff around rebuilding the whole diff. So I'm using this too. I'm using the, using the flat uh, flange tail shaft off there. This is off an EF um, XR8. Um, the diff itself is shot. It's completely knackered. Like, wow, you would not believe how bad this diff is, but it's just gone. Um, it's shot. It's actually a limited slip and all that two, two, three, twenty-three ratio, but it's junk. It's absolutely wrecked. Um. Oh, that's the other old note. I was looking where that was. Um. Yeah. So anyway, that's the easiest way. Change the course. Change the mounts. There's the mounts. It'll take about half an hour to pull them off. Weld will probably take another hour, hour and a half to put them on, and uh, very simple, fast build I'll paint the diff and away we go so other than that I think that's all I need to do that's that's the drive line done so which is good so I'll uh, put all this on the, I'll get the gearbox on tomorrow I've got all the stuff ready to rock and roll and then I'm just going to park that up the back corner and that can just sit there and then I'll be able to strip I've got all this space here to strip the other car down so I'll have enough room in here so once I get the engine and engine crane and all that, I'll have enough room in here, car, to strip that down and I'll push that one out the other side. And that can just move away out of the way for a little while once I get the diff out of it. Other than that, it's been good. Um, it's been a good experience, a lot of fun. So I get the engine in. Um, obviously the interior's 
uh, got to be removed. So I've got a brand new interior for the old uh, the old cop car. So that's already done, it's sitting in Sydney as we speak. So that'll be transported up on this weekend. Brands bank and new, Sierra Tan, as per the uh, nameplate original. Um, so I'm staying with the Collins Shift. Um, so I've got a little, couple little minor mods to do on the side of the gearbox when I get it here, but that's easy. This is cable Collin Shift, of course. That's easy stuff. Um, so I've got a couple of mod mods to do that. that. I'll do that once it's together. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've got all the mounts, gearbox mounts, new engine mounts. Just changed it to a V8. Um, so I got all the all the old V8 stuff ready to roll here. The old instrument V8 stuff all ready to go. Full interior setup re ready to go. Got the Fairmont gear lights ready to go back in her. Um, yeah, V8 setup, taco setup. Um, yeah, so she's all good. Looking good. So I've got some snazzy speakers too. These are little four inch in the front. So I've had the lights refurbished and the little glass refurbished, which is good for the you know the spotlight version. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it, just other than putting things together. So I've got pretty well two of everything, and when I get the other car up here, I'm gonna have three of everything. Um, so I'm just gonna choose the best parts to make one good car. Um, and then that old girl, she'll just go to the scrap. Um, or someone might not buy it, I don't know. So I've got a brand new radiator, ready to go. Got all fully serviced, um, Air conditioning system ready to go. It's all sitting in the back of that car. Um, I'm not going to open the boot. It's too hard. It's got no struts. Uh, all ready to go. So everything's all new, fresh. It'll be like driving a new car. New, um, new suspension, the whole lot. So it'll be good, good to go for many, 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 many years. So it'll be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. So yeah. So we get a custom exhaust on her. Um, these need a little bit of few mods to make them fit they're actually quite good they're quite thin so they fit in there nice it's just um, I've got a couple of mods to do to make all the downpipe work and all that but that's okay so yeah got a brand new oil cooler ready to go in there and all that so transmission oil cooler so it's all good um, done thank you that's where we're up to Tuesday big day cars here Woo.